Down. Set up. We got the touch I'm gonna start with versus we're gonna do a little bit of qualifying. We're gonna really look and see how this race is gonna start and where these drivers are gonna stack up. Nick, share with us what's gonna be unique about the start in, 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 in this race compared to the other races we've had here. Well I'll tell you one thing before we jump into that, this track is, is much bigger than um, it's just a little bit over a half mile track. It's not near as banked as quickly as we're seeing. So I'm kind of interested to see what the transmissions are going to do here. Just for that, is that fact in itself. It's not near as banked of a track. It's a lot bigger. Um, I'm excited to see how fast these guys can get going into turn one off the, off the start. Tell us what's going on with the start, Spence. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're kind of doing a great start, right? So we're going to stagger the middle position driver, second place, and so on and so forth down the line. But they're going to start from a dead stop. Uh, traditional to NASCAR where it's a rolling start, they're going to get the green, it's going to be off the line. So we know these cars have nitrous. Is it going to be something that's going to help them hitting the nitrous off the start to get in front of the pack? That way they don't get caught up in any of those cautions. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you're going to have to worry about a lot of these transmissions that, uh, from the guys that were in the last race, you know, how, how to get your hits right now. How long did they get in the race before? Um, I know when I was talking to Connor Daly from the race before, his car didn't have uh, first blood or first gear, so he was having to start in second, which is a big disadvantage. You're going to use up a lot of nitrous if your transmission's not right. So I think it's going to be awesome to see them start from dead stop. Yeah, that's going to be a very great way to start this race, but as far as you touched on something very important, the transmissions, okay? Now, being that it's a 5 8 mile oval, the shift points are going to be completely different. And so what we've seen, some of the test driving that's gone down, Cletus has let us know that it looks like second gear will get it done for most of the cars. But Ronnie Deegan was able to share with me that he was able to clip third just after the start finish and give himself that extra five, six, seven miles per hour before he enters into turn one. Yeah, um, big shout out to Nitto Tire out there. These tires are going to be definitely tested today. Uh, bigger track, probably the biggest track that we've definitely been at. And uh, fresh set of Nittos on all these cars. Uh, there's some big time racers out here, man. I'm still kind of excited to see who's going to come out here. Early ground house and Ryan Dean coming off an incredible win at the Freedom 500. Going from the front of the pack, spun out, go all the way back to the back, and, uh, and won it. It was incredible. Absolutely, a lot of you joined today for the viewership at home. We have in-car cameras, and as you see right now, we have Cletus McFarland in the number four crown pick, getting his harnesses set up, getting dialed in. This is going to be one of the best shots. The shots that I'm most excited to see is that in-car um, of LS George, Cletus McFarland, and Brian Deegan in the number 38. So you see Cletus is up there, and I believe as far as the qualifying goes, he will be in qualifying group one. These in-car cameras are going to look very good. So Cletus is actually using the same car that uh, he used in the previous race, and a lot of these cars have been recycled, plus or minus a few intake manifolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're uh, they're going to be out there full soon. That first qualifying, you've got Cletus McFarlane, followed up by Matt from Demolition Ranch, and you got Kyle from the Boosted Boys. And uh, Kyle put on a good performance in the last race, so... And Matt's out here, he's sending it. Looks like he won last night in the burnout rival, so... Everyone. I mean, let's talk about some of the competitors we have here. We actually have four drivers today that have won at some of the, either at the Freedom Factory events or any of the events we've held. Um, some of those drivers we have, Jamie from PFI Speed, who had the, the world-class finish in reverse for the victory. We have Brian Deegan, who has won as well. And then one of our other winners is Cletus himself. And then um, I think that makes up our three winners. We might have one more in there, but... Um, it's going to be a very good competition because, again, new track, whole new driving experience, new lines, and even one of the staff personnel was able to share with me, although it looks like an oval thing, turns three and four is actually a tighter turn than turns one and two. Yeah, I think uh, you got to worry about Kevin Smith out there. He's another winner as well. Uh, Jamie from PFI Speed and Brent, that was in that tag team race and two one for hours with the mullets. Um, whistling diesel to drive. A lot of people think that that guy just goes out there and tears cars up. <laughs> you know, I think he's going to be a beast. Looks like we got the cars going out there on the track now, about to do some qualifying. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you know, obviously, we have our very own. Make some noise for our one and only please. We follow in the number four. Here we go. We are 
starting our qualifying lap right now. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, gonna be nice to see these guys out here for a minute. Allowing Kyle to kind of sneak in there. So this is a little bit of a tighter qualifying group than you would traditionally see in NASCAR where it's kind of one out at a time while well, there's a couple guys getting warmed up out there. But this line, it looks like the middle of the turn is a line. So it's not necessarily seeing just a high 